Hi everybody and welcome to my video on area. Now there always seems to be some confusion in the classroom as to which is perimeter and which is area. And well, the way I like to look at it is perimeter I think of as being the perimeter fence around my garden. So if I'm measuring a garden fence, I measure around the outside. So if perimeter is round the outside, then area must be the amount of ground that is inside the shape. It is the surface that a shape covers. So think of a football pitch. The perimeter is the white line that goes all the way around it. And the area is how big, how much ground there is on the football pitch. Let's see how that works with some simple shapes. So let's start with a square and let's be clear about what we are looking for. We said that the area is the bit in the middle. It is the surface that is covered by a shape. So in this case, it's this. It is just how much surface is being used up from corner to corner, side to side by the square. Now, this square is six centimetres on either side. Now, let's have a look what this means. What I'm going to do here, just to try to make it a little clearer, I am actually going to break this square up. So, again, if you excuse my drawing skills, I'm going to put a line straight across the middle, and then I'm going to try to break that into equal parts. There's another one. And then if they're not quite equal, my apologies, they are meant to be one there and two more there. So if this is six centimetres, here they are. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six centimetres. So I've broken this six centimetre side into parts. Right, let's do exactly the same with the bottom. So I will draw a line down the centre and then do exactly the same by putting a line there and a line there and then one about there and one there again forgive my accuracy so the same things happened here the six centimeters we've been broken down into one two three four five six now each of these is one centimeter by one centimeter. In other words, it is a one square centimeter. Now that's important when we're talking about area. Let's have a look at how many of these squares there are. Well, there are six rows and each row has six squares. So that would be six times six. And you can count them if you want to make sure but there are 36 of these squares. Now, if each square is one centimeter by one centimeter, that is a square centimeter, then that is how we write area. So the area of this square is 36 centimeters squared. And that's what the little two on the end there means. Some people say square centimetres, some people say centimetres squared. It is the same thing. What we have here is a square which is now filled in with 36 little square centimetres. So that is its area. Now being practical, we can't go around drawing lines in every shape that we see. So we have to find a more straightforward way of coming to this answer. And the answer is already here in front of us. We did six times six. Well, that is quite simply the length of the sides. The square is six high by six wide. So all we do is multiply the width by the height. Six times six, 36 square centimeters. So let's have a look at a rectangle. Now I could draw lines and be here ages trying to make it look pretty. But using the method that I have already discovered on the first page, all I need to do is to say, OK, this shape is 
12 centimeters wide and it is 8 centimeters high therefore 12 times 8 is 96 so the area is 96 centimeters squared if I were to draw the lines across and down there would be 12 lines of 8 there would be 96 square centimeters in the shape so just to recap before we move on to a slightly more complicated shape here's your square 8 8 that's 8 times 8 equals 64 centimeters squared now don't forget had these been meters it would have been meters squared miles miles squared we keep the same units that we started with bottom one is 10 wide and it is 7 high 10 times 7 equals 70 centimeters squared we multiply the width by the height so far we've looked at squares and rectangles here's something a little bit different and um, sometimes it's called a composite shape but we still want to find the area now trying to find the area all in one go is a difficult thing so we don't try to do that we do know how to find the area of a rectangle therefore the best way to approach a question like this is to break the shape down and if I go from this corner here I take it down to the bottom and I have now got a rectangle here and a rectangle here so all I need to do is work out the area of the two rectangles this one is 7 times 6 so that's 42 centimeters squared and on the one on the right is 5 times 4 so it's 20 centimeters squared so for the whole area we simply add 42 to 20 and get 62 centimeters squared you could if you'd wanted to take the line and gone across that way you would have then had to work out the area of this rectangle and the bottom one it makes no difference now here's the same shape I've changed the numbers and I'm wanting the area the problem we have here is that we haven't been given the lengths of all the sides now you might actually not need every length but it is a good idea sometimes just to put them in so that you have all the information that you need so what are the missing lengths well if we look at the width of this shape the entire width is 18 this little piece here is 8 so we know that it's 8 from there to there therefore this bit here must be 10 because 8 plus 10 must equal 18 it's the same width across and similarly if we look at the height we know that the height of the whole thing is 12 we also know that the height of this bit here is 7 because it's the other side of the rectangle here therefore if this is 7 this must be 5 so that 5 and 7 make 12 so we've now got all our edges what we do now and in fact we can use the line that I've already drawn here we split it into two rectangles the larger rectangle here now measures 10 centimeters by 12 10 times 12 is 120 the smaller rectangle we already have the measurements of they were 8 times 7 so you've got 56 there add them together 176 centimeters squared let's do a final example here a similar thing we've got a shape with a corner missing now this time I am going to choose to take my line across that way okay so now I've broken my shape down into a top rectangle here and a smaller one can I work out the area of these rectangles well the top one I've got the numbers for it's 8 times 3 so the top one is 24 the bottom one well it's 4 but I need to know what this side here is well, that's not too bad we know that the overall height is 6 we know that this piece here is the same as the three here so that must be three so to add up to six 
this side here must also be 3. So now I know that this is 3 times 4, which is 12. Add them together, 36 centimetres squared. So now we have the method of finding area. In an exam or test, you might find questions where you are required to use area in other calculations, uh, but I'm going to cover that in a different video. So please, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, hit the subscribe button and the notifications. And if you want to have a look at perimeter again, it's on the video to my side here. Thank you.